Gotrek and Felix is good. They're the they're, they're good. They're amazing. Gilliman got an Eldar girlfriend. Yeah, isn't it that like semi bald thing? Some like Yanari chick. I mean, I know a little bit of that, but nothing crazy. I don't really read 40k. Exactly. I started 40k lore reading uh, through someone explaining the factions, then I chose one, and I read everything about them. That's exactly how I did it, right? Like, or you read through, like, big books, say, like, um, the core book for 40k, it gives you the base story of, like, what's going on in the universe and how things are kind of, like, progressing. And then it gives you little tidbits of lore for, like, each race, you know? It's good. Reading is, um... Reading is alright. I think I prefer audiobooks just because when I decide to listen or slash read, I'm doing something else. I'm not sitting down to just read. Or again, listen. So, audiobooks are fucking awesome, man. I should really try and reach out for, like, an Audible sponsorship. I've got probably 20 books on Audible, but I've only listened to, like, 6 or 7. They're very expensive, though. Audible is not cheap. There's no deals. You can maybe get a membership for cheap, but, like, the products you purchase on Audible are pretty much retail-priced things. It's not like, join Audible today and save money. It's kind of like, join Audible today and pay full price for things you want. I haven't fucked with 40k novels. I have no interest. I'm waiting for a Votan novel, but, like... The only other thing I really care about is, um... She's dead. There we go, nice. Everything I've read so far, or I've listened to, has been Age of Sigmar slash Fantasy. Like, of course, I know the gist of lore from, like, 40k and factions and stories and stuff that you can find on YouTube or anywhere, but... 40k is just not what I'm into, compared to, like, Fantasy. I'm currently at 83 audiobooks. They're good, though, man. People don't realize how good audiobooks are. It's not this boring robot reading a book to you. It's all voice acted and narrated by people who do this for a living. They're good. Like, the voice acting is some of the funniest shit I've even heard. Because you, you kind of know, like, yeah, that's how they would sound. It's great. <clears throat> what are they called? Um, I think audio dramas are a little different, where it's not so much a... It's not like a book format, but it's more of um, like a screenplay or something, but over um, over a, a, like audiobook, right? Yeah, bro, they fucking voice act shit. It's funny. It's like one guy voice acting 15 different characters sometimes, but they all sound different. It's a little weird when, like, the... <laughs> in the Gotrek and Felix audiobooks, there's a bunch of women who show up, and so he'll go from sounding like Gotrek, like, Oi, what do I want to be here? Yeah. And Gotrek spits on the ground, whatever. And then he voice acts like Felix's girlfriend, but it sounds like a dude. It, it, like, it's... It's interesting. But the, uh, the audio dramas are interesting because they actually have, like, full casts kind of behind them, and there's, like, music and the sounds of weapons going off and stuff like that. It's, it's good. It's not for, like, you know, I'm sure most Zoomers or young people wouldn't enjoy it, but, like... You like what you like, right? Oh, well.
I wish I had that kill. Oh well. The thing is, too, with a lot of these, um... What people need to realize is, like... You know Marvel. You get the comic books. People love the comics. People love the classics, right? But then you also have all these, like, really big budget, like... Just shit shows, but they also kind of give you... A lot. You know, like... As bad as a Marvel movie might be... It is crazy to think that, yeah, you get superhero movies, like, pretty frequently. For Warhammer, the equivalent of, like, a Marvel movie coming out it, within the Warhammer sphere is kind of a novel. Like, Warhammer, I don't think, is at that stage where it can really take cinema. Or rather, it can, but people don't want to do it yet, you know? There's a lot of good animation and things that were created by fans. Like, obviously, Astartes is just the best thing ever for 40k. I don't think Astartes could be beaten. Not not anytime soon, at least. In the quality. Um, but, like, you want to do it justice. I think everyone behind Warhammer is passionate. Everybody. This is not a franchise where you can milk for money. It's not Marvel. You know, it's not like uh, Star Wars where you can make some subpar thing and be like, oh, it's just Disney, so let's make money. Right? Like, everyone making Warhammer content is kind of passionate and really, 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 really wants to do it justice. It'll it'll get its, its dues, just not anytime soon. It'll be a while. Riot is a good example, though, because they've really been nurturing their universe. I, I think anything League-related will be phenomenal. I, I think Riot does care about what they've done with League of Legends. Or, I'm not going to say League of Legends, because that's just the game. They're... They're good at what they did with Runeterra. Like, Sentinels... Sure, Sentinels was bad, but, like, that's one shitty little event compared to the overall universe of Runeterra, right? And that was like, they even said it wasn't canon and things were changed. So it doesn't matter. That just doesn't matter in the long run. L like Legends of Runeterra is awesome. I don't know if you've seen all the cosmic horror that has come out of the void from Legends of Runeterra, but it's it's good. It looks aesthetically fucking creepy. It it looks like there's a lot more going on than they had initially, right? They've come a long way, I guess I should say. Ruin King was phenomenal. The Ruin King was like a really nice, tight-knit bundle of story and gameplay, but it wasn't, um... I just want Bounty. I don't have Bounty. Oh, well. Rune Terra is just a dead game. I mean, I guess it's just the content of the game. Or not the content of the game, but like... What the game is, is it's a card game, like... How much more do you really want to kind of do with it, you know? Oh, I got cannon, nice. It's not really a game that people stick to. It's like, oh, you play the main thing? Well, try the card game type of deal. It's not a game that really is going to win awards or do anything crazy. It's just a card game. Card games aren't the talk of the town. Like, this isn't Hearthstone anymore, you know? Oh, okay. you could say, sure, Magic the Gathering, which is fucking insane. MTG is phenomenal. Like, at least from uh, a any hobby store, any gaming sphere that you kind of go into, it's like, always MTG is talked about. It at some level.
All these nerdy hobbies, they're all just money pits kick. Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh, I think, is like back burner type of deal, you know. Pokemon MTG is the kings. And then uh Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of like that third wheel. It's it's there, but it's it's not the talk of the town. Well, I'm talking about the card games, not the games. Like, everything surrounding Pokemon from, like, its cards. N like, a anything within the card game. The collecting, the physicality, the merch, wh whatever it may be. Like, the games, sure, obviously, they're a video game of those card games. Or not of the card games, but, like, the content of them. But Pokemon, as, as it is with cards, like how it originally started is still phenomenal. Like, people love everything about Pokemon. Still sells really well. Uh, fucking permanent, constant expansions. Like, fuck, man, it's been two months and I've seen God knows how many come out at this point. Or three months, whatever it may be. Like, with Pokemon, you're always given content. You always get stuff. It's like Warhammer these days, I feel like, because with Warhammer now, it's like, they give you something every week. I don't see that a lot with, like, with Star Wars, it's like, what are they giving you? With Lord of the Rings, what are they giving you, you know? Well, Lord of the Rings is, it's not as big since the movies, but... Ads are so AIDS. Yeah. I don't blame people for not wanting to watch Twitch. I join streams where I'm not a sub. And, um... They make me watch eight ads in a row. And I'm very, uh... Uninterested in then watching Twitch. And so I just get off the platform. Say I'm out. Like, they will unironically put eight ads in your face. One after another. It's terrible. It's so shit. It's just... It's bad. What is good about Star Wars? Old school movies, man. Games. The lore. The expanded universe is fucking phenomenal. So much, gr so much grit, so much grime, so much character. But it's not canon. Because, you know, Disney and their, uh... If it's not for kids, it's not for us. Unless it's um, very specific things that were uh, somehow still screened. Like, apparently Andor was very anti-Disney, which, yeah, I'm all for, because Star Wars needs to kind of... It needs those stories, right? Like, not everything is cheery and... Oh my god, I got the Force! I'm gonna save the galaxy! Like, Star Wars is depressing. All these universes with war are fucking horrifyingly bad. Not like bad in the sense that they suck, but they're tragic and, you know, genocide. Fucking the Empire, like, bro, you're destroying entire planets for not joining you, right? You're, you're instigating an entire species or, like, a whole planet's populace. Like, it's just bad, man. Like, you know, you need more of that in these universes. Not everything is just fucking... Rainbows and flowers in the force. That's what's so good about Warhammer is because it's not... Like, you know, Games Workshop will try to bring it to the masses. Like, of course. It's a company. Money's money. I understand. But what's so good about Warhammer is it's 
it, it is violent. It has... It doesn't kind of hold itself back, you know? Of course, violence isn't everything, but, like... When you have Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, when you have all these other fucking, like, big universes that are, uh... Always in peril, you know? From something. It's like the violence kind of has to be a big deal. I need to go finish, uh, call bot side, probably. Forty k is sometimes too dark. It's fucked up to. Well, I mean, the world is dark, bro. Like, that's what these universes need. You know, keep pushing the agenda. Don't like get too incredibly edgy and cringe. But, like, I don't think enough is ever enough with Warhammer. I think you can always get worse. In a good way. That's just what the universe is, man. That's what life is. Life is always shitty. It's like, yeah, we live in our own little nice sphere, but, like, man, there's a lot of heinous shit going down every day. Warmer kind of burns me out, caring since you always know they're going for edgy darkness, so what's the point? Well, that is true. That's kind of why I like fantasy, is because fantasy is a little bit more relatable, and there's kind of more... at Like, of course there's a lot at stake with 40k, it's just not the emphasis. Right, like, for the Emperor, protect humanity, do whatever, but like, no one's thinking about the people back home. No one's caring about the families, it's just... Humanity wants to conquer the galaxy. Right? And, and of course, when things happen, oh my god, go protect this planet, do this, save the people. But that's such like an afterthought, I think, in most people's minds. Everyone kind of just like dives into the, the violence and, and the battle, and they forget about really uh, all the other shit kind of going around um, surrounding it, I guess. Or like what's at stake, you know? Fantasy was. Fantasy is like obviously far more grounded. Um. And a lot of races in fantasy really kind of just protect their own. Obviously, orcs, chaos, and all these other baddies kind of go out and, like, try and take the world. But the Empire, the Dwarves, Bretonia, like, you know, they're not they're not put in this universe to just wage war. It's They're waging war because they have to, you know? And I guess you could say, oh, the Imperium, the Imperium wage war because they have to. Yeah, but, like... It's just... Oh, man. It's, you, it's, you can't compare it. Overlord Light Novel? Overlord? What is that? Dark Tide's story is just... You're... You're a bunch of rejects sent into a hive city to cleanse the hive city of the plague, like Nurgle's, you know, uh, what is it, Nurgle's, um, just them being there, right? Like, the Imperium apparently can't send enough resources, so instead they send convicts, 
And uh, maybe they can redeem themselves by just saving Tertium. That's the gist of the lore. That's really just it. It's nothing, really. But that's kind of 40k. A lot of things are just nothing. They're just little specks in the galaxy, and that's, uh... That's cool. We can still win this. I'm coming. We win this. Why didn't he speed me up? Oh, I was too far for one part. This 40k is very stupidly just crazy. <laughs> That's kind of the appeal, though. Everything is just, like, incredibly fucked up. I think we can still win. I just kind of fucked up my combo. What's interesting about the cosmetics in those games is you can't even see yourself wearing them. So, like, what's the point of the cosmetic, really? I mean, it's just the show-off. If you could see it, that's different, because you might want to look cool, but, like, you can't see yourself in Dark Tide when you're playing it, like, just walking around. I don't fuck with Final Fantasy. It's too weeby. Well, you know what would make sense? Orcs kind of arriving on Tertium to, like, just reap the re rewards of everyone just fucking killing each other. Because that's what orcs kind of do sometimes, is they'll show up at the end of a fight, even though they want... Like, and more so, like, freebooters, so, like, the pirate dudes, but... Orcs like scrap, you know? They all like to fight, but they also like loot. So you would kind of see them show up sometimes on planets just for the sake of that. Right? Oh, the fight's kind of over? Well, we still get a little bit of it, but... It would be interesting as, like, a, an orc incursion or something to the planet when everything's already going to shit. It could be a bunch of stuff, bro. There could be, like, a fucking Gene Stealer uprising. As, um... No Collector. A million things can happen in the universe. It's just a matter of, um... Kind of, uh... Them wanting to put it in. They have a million ideas. It's like, what would actually do well, though? Well, Nurgle is, like, very easy to adapt into something like that, because it's just fucking zombies. It's very easy to do. It makes good cannon fodder, makes creepy enemies, like... There's just... It, Nurgle's just easy. It, it's easy to work with. If they were to include, like, Korn or Zinch or Slanesh, it wouldn't be as intriguing because it it's just not zombies, you know what I mean? Like, at least the rats have zombies, but the zombies aren't zombies, they're rats. You know what I mean? Like, they're as worthless as a zombie is. And they still have all those crazy things that kind of make uh, those games over the top. Big bosses, you know, other units, large, elite, whatever. Nurgle just adapts itself better to uh, the style of game. Orcs could work, too, from Gretchen to bosses. Um... 
Yes, but I think orcs kind of lack in the unique department. It's not that orcs aren't exactly, you know, unique. Obviously they are, but like, you get orcs, you get Gretchen, and then you get vehicles. That's really just it. There's no, like, mutation or disease or weird creations going on. Well, you could have weird creations and say they're, um... Like, the mech suits and all that shit, like the Killicans, the Def Dreads, and whatnot. I didn't crit. Tyranids are different, though. I'm kind of glad they went with Tyranids for Space Marine 2, because the Tyranids have a lot of that mutation-y, weird... Like, you know, they're just big bug nasties, right? That would be good for Dark Tide. You want to make that shit interesting? Instead of Nurgle next time, give it fucking Tyranids, man. Tyranids would be fucking phenomenal. It'd be really good. Anything that's like horde based and creature esque are good for these games.